Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to my channel for a heyday video. Now today's video is going to be focusing on the Autumn Decoration Diamond Purchase Packs that we've just been given within the game. Now I do like the Autumn or Full Season depending on how you wish to call it. It's one of my favourite within the game. Uh, like with most seasonal changes, the leaves in the real world do change as well, as does the game. And we get a lot of different colours added in. And that's one of the reasons why I like it. I've always enjoyed the food and the colour that I see as I look around the nature. And I like the fact that it carries over into the game as well. Now my farm itself is laid out in an autumn style design for my preference for this year. I've got my Halloween area there as we move into the October month as well. And I'm looking forward to purchasing more Halloween decoration as we draw closer to that time as well. Now remember it's still September, so you don't expect to see the Halloween decoration just yet. Even though if you go to the shops, it's probably been there since July in most places. Now I've also done my town as well and my sanctuary and I'm happy with the design there and I like the fact that the autumn theme does carry over into this area as well. I wish I could purchase some of the trees that are actually shown here because they are absolutely stunning. Now one day if we're lucky heyday may actually add the autumn theme to the valley as well which would be perfect. That's the only area within the game that doesn't actually change at this moment in time which I think is a shame. Now I've got my little open area there down on my farm and this is where I'm going to be placing the purchase pack decoration and there are three in total and I'm looking forward to actually getting them. Now I do like to decorate as do many other players out there in the world. Now remember that the decoration for the diamond purchase packs is real money. Uh, however, if you are a diamond buyer, then maybe you will be buying diamonds anyway. Now you're getting Deku as part of that incentive. However, heyday, please do start thinking about adding in decoration for non-diamond purchasers. Uh, I would love to see more decoration added in for the seasonal activities. Maybe after this pandemic's over, you can start thinking about that. Right now, as I said, it's the same price as a normal pack, but it includes deco. We've got three this time. There's the beautiful carver's bench, there's the rocking chair, and those wonderful pine cones. Each one does cost real cash. It includes diamonds and the deco as well. And I'm happy to buy these items to actually show you what they look like. Now... Which one is my favourite? Oh, that's a tough decision. Now, actually, I think of all of the three down there, I kind of like offer number three the most. There's a beautiful bench there. Uh, you've got this issue of carving the pumpkin, which is something some of my friends do actually do. I wish that I could do the same kind of thing. However, living in Japan and being from the UK, it's not part of my standard culture, so it's not something I would normally think about doing. However, I do like Halloween and I do like the autumn food. Okay, well the decoration's been made and I've opened up my shop here and I'm still in my fencing area so I've got to jump back to the main section which I will do so now here and it will then take me to the three pieces. There's the pine cones there. I will drag that one out, just place them down in my little design area. There's also the rocking chair to do and then finally that beautiful carver's bench. Let's bring that one out as well. Oh, should they see? One more time. There we go. Right, look at that. Now, they are absolutely stunning. I think I need to turn the actual rocking chair as well. Look at that, gorgeous. Now, we've got a nice carving bench there. Uh, do you know what? We need some actual jack-o'-lanterns to go with this one. Now, i still got some Halloween decoration in my deco storage that I haven't placed out. So I think it's going to be ideal to create something in this area for the kids to come and enjoy. So if I slide on down to the calendar, you'll see a lot of seasonal decoration there from previous seasons. Some that I've placed out, some that I haven't. Some for the winter season, which will be later. And here's the one for the Halloween. So look at that. The beautiful jack-o'-lantern yeah get some of those down there they're done now i love the spooky plants i'm a fan of the little shop of horrors uh, and in that one you have a beautiful plant that likes to eat people and we've got two in the game there's the purple one and the red one we need more we really do so hey day more decoration please seriously more decoration you will never go wrong with keep adding decoration to the game players will buy it but like i said non-diamond purchase pack options as well please uh, and the ability to buy previous decoration from previous years. I really would like that one. Uh, actually, if possible, can we kind of have Halloween a little bit earlier in the month as well? I know it's an American holiday as such, but there are those of us around the world that would like to see it come a little bit earlier in the game. 
All right, now as I decorate this area, I'm going to make it something a little bit more fun for the kids within the game to come and enjoy. Now, I know because of the global pandemic ongoing at the moment, a lot of people will miss out on Halloween. You can still decorate your home so people can sit as they walk past. Uh, you just may not be able to do trick or treating. Uh, however, do think about maybe doing some other games with inside the house as well to make the kids just as happy. Yeah, maybe trick or treating over Zoom could be good fun. That could be a, an enjoyable activity. And visit your friend's house, but instead your parents give you some candies for each Zoom house that you visit. That might be a nice option for some of the neighbors to think about as well, by the way. So go for it. Now, speaking of going for it, this video is about to end. Uh, you can go and purchase the decoration yourself should you wish to. But what's more important is to actually click on that subscription button and subscribe to my channel. It's free of charge and I'm very, very close to hitting the 50,000 mark. So come on, help me get over that little limit. It would be very nice indeed. There's also the bell notification and I'm on social media, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. So join me there. But either way, subscribe, please. See you next time. Take care, have fun and enjoy your decorating. Bye now.